Thank you for tuning in to the Game Changer 00100 show. I'm your host, Game Changer, and today we are going to discuss why is it so difficult for black men to create organizations to help the black community. Well, the short answer of this is real simple. Well, actually, there is no short answer um, to this. this. This is something that I notice over a significant amount of time. Um, and trying to join, create, you know, um, organizations to help the black community. And that is real simple. Uh, what's the best way to say this? All right. Um, whenever a black man attempts to do something to help the black community, particularly for the kids, because that that's what you do. Community service is for the kids. It's, you know, that they are the future of the community. Your efforts is best spent there. What I notice is that you get an influx of black women. Um, these black women are not particularly concerned with whatever project you're doing. What they are concerned with is the men that are doing it. You see, um, a black man who is community minded, particularly black community minded, is a treasure trove for black women. Black women feel that they cannot compete um, with white women on standard on the standard level. You know, using standard mating tactics like submission, seduction, se sexuality, sensuality, um, and feminist um, being not feminist, but being feminine things like that. They don't feel that they can compete in that realm. So what they do is they look for men, black men of solidarity. Now, if you are in or you are creating one of these organizations, then what they hear is that this is a black man of solidarity. He is for black people. He is for the black community. Therefore, I do not have to um, compete with any other race of women. So what happens is once you create this organization, let's just say, let's just say it's a baseball league for little black kids or, you know, um, to give an example in the wire, a boxing club for little black boys or, you know, really local boys, but they tend to have been black in this uh, particular instance, you know, then the women will come. They'll come out of nowhere and they'll come in droves to that particular organization. And then what winds up happening is, um, and they're coming for the men, they're not coming for the organization. And then what winds up happening, and I've seen this time and time again, is that they overwhelm it so much that they become the majority. Which means that all procedures, all voting, things like that, blah, 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 becomes all them. And then the focus of the organization begins to shift. And it begins to shift to, you know, whatever black, whatever is on black woman's mind at the time. So say you want to mentor kids. You want to set up a, a after school program to help black kids with their math homework and, and science homework and things like that. So you get a bunch of guys to do this. They, they have tutors, they have mentors, they bring in college students from various fraternities, NSBE organizations, things like that, you know, to set up at, uh, to set up a center um, where local high schools, junior highs and um, elementary schools can, you know, can bring their students here to get assistance in this way. So everything is great in the beginning and then, you know, um, the women, particularly the mother of these students, get wind of this and they say, oh, you know, I want to sign up too. I want to volunteer just to be in proximity of these men. And then another mother and then another mother and then another mother. And next thing you know, there is a sisterhood in that organization. You get overwhelmed, outvoted, and just generally uncomfortable. And then the men start to dissipate. And then the nature of the program is no longer... Um, teaching math and science to youth. Nope. They start teaching whatever the woman knows best, whether it's arts and crafts, but really what it comes down to is teaching virtues of black women. 
I've seen it happen so many times, you know. That's when you start getting, you know, happy that you're nappy. Um, let's talk about the crystal spirits and shit like that, you know. Um, um, fat acceptance, all kind of shit. All these books and stuff that are written to build the self-esteem of young black. That's, that's what will take over your organization eventually and almost always. Now, let's just say if uh, you don't do it. Let's just say if you as a black man and founder of the organization and the black men who are with it say, you know something, um, I'm just going to keep it, keep it all us. I'm going to keep it 100. You know, I'm not, um, I'm not going to, when I say 100, I'm talking about like 100 black men. Um, I'm not going to, this is going to be a male only organization. So you do that. You put that out there and then you say, okay, you know, we're the kids. We need to mentor some kids. And you look around and you hear crickets. And it's like, um, you know, we could really use some kids. I know that there are kids, that there are black kids in the community that are doing poorly in mathematics. We read the statistics. We read the numbers, you know. What's going on? Oh, because you have excluded the black women from your organization, they have excluded their kids from your organization, meaning that they would sooner let the, I've seen this before, they would sooner let the kids fail than to join an organization that they cannot be a part of. I've seen it happen over and over again. So The Wire gives a spectacular example of this um, with the, um, when you talk about the character Dennis Wise, also known as Cuddy. Uh, Cuddy is a former um, prisoner you know, he did, I think, like 14 or 17 years um, in prison for murder. And then he gets out and he has a conscience. He don't want the street life anymore. He wants to build the community. Um, and he decides the best way to do that is to open up a boxing gym um, for, for young men. And then what happened was interesting. He gets flooded with, you know, all sorts of... A local pussy from the mothers and then you know also food they just they just came in droves now fortunately for him he was doing something that they couldn't really join you know they couldn't really be a part of um, and that's because you know they can't box um, but they were suggesting that you know oh maybe you should get girls in and and blah 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 and um, now this is fiction but eventually what happens is you know these women join these organization um, in any capacity and then they demand that you bring in girls they're like look you know oh we're the majority now we demand that this become a co-ed boxing gym and then it just it's just downhill from there you know if it survives the exodus of men you will now have a girls only boxing gym it will say you know the the cutty boxing gym for black girls I shit you not so that is an obstacle that we as black men have to get over. You know, they're looking for community-minded black men, so um, they feel that with these particular type of black men, they do not have to compete against white women, um, which means that, and, and just think about what that means for a second, um, to a woman. What it means is that if there are a hundred women in a club or something like that and they are interested in a guy or let's just say they're interested in a, in a bunch of guys right their hope is to zero in on the guys that have reduced their mating pool to only 14 women of all the hundred women he has now eliminated all of those as competition and he says I'm only going to select from this pool of 14 women imagine what a dating advantage that is and for people who work in software you know um, um, you have to compete internationally right so um, for certain jobs 
um, particularly in a private sector. They can hire somebody in India, they can hire somebody in Africa, they can hire somebody in Asia, they can hire someone in Europe. Um, you know, software can be um, developed anywhere and then shipped here. So there is competition, international competition for you. However, when you hear that a job says, oh no, you must be, you must be born in the USA, think about how much a competition that eliminates. That eliminates a lot of competition. So of course, um, and actually fortunately it's not a lot, um, but it does eliminate competition. So people are more excited to hear about those jobs because it eliminates competition. Eliminating 86% of the female population as competition is huge. It is huge for a woman. So of course they're going to go after these guys, feel more secure with them, especially if they have something to offer. In the case of Cuddy or Dennis Wise, he, he has his, his hands, his ability to box, you know? And they don't care if they're sending their kids to murderer, to a murderer, you know? I mean, and also a prison guy. And on the same series, a guy who did time, Michael's um, stepfather or whatnot, you know, wound up raping Michael. You know, it's not, but, but let's just ignore that for a second. Let's just ignore that, you know. They don't mind doing that as long as they have a niche. They have a guy here who has eliminated 86% of the competition. They're going to go for it. So that's where we're at now. Basically, in order to create any organization that, that helps and mentors kids, you're going, because we have such a high single mother rate, you're going to have to negotiate with black women. And part of that negotiation will lead to the disillusion and dismemberment of the organization. So it is a lose lose in many, if not most, instances, unfortunately. So, now you know why we have this obstacle, one of the many that we have to overcome before we can build, because building is such a necessity. Building, oh, by the way, by the way, that's why that is um, emphasized so hard. Um, they, want, they want to see more brothers building the community because that's what that means. That means that his concern is for the community, meaning that his concern is for the future of blackness, meaning that he is less prone to date out so that's all that means they don't actually care about what's being built they just want to see the effort all right so with that being said this is game changer 00100 and game over